All of you, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll try to understand about one of the popular framework when it's come to Solana development, mainly writing a smart contract and deploying on the Solana environment. So one popular framework which help you to build any type of contract which you want to execute on the Solana, whether it's the NFT, token, meme coins, or any kind of games application you are building where you want to execute the contract based on certain behavior or the action. So the one framework which I personally like to use a lot when I'm working on a Solana project is Angular. Anchor. So Anchor we have for Solana ecosystem, just like we have hard at Ganache for Solidity ecosystem for writing a smart contract. So Anchor is very powerful. I would encourage you to have a look if you are focusing on Solana development, learning the Ross programming language, and if you want to generate and create your contract using this particular framework. Like you can simply ignore this framework and you can write the contract and deploy on the Solana ecosystem without the Anchor framework. You can do that, but it will help you a lot. If you use the anchor framework, you can do the custom setup right in your terminal, right in your local environment, and you can split to use different library, different packages to build your smart contracts. So when it's come to building an NFT marketplace on Solana ecosystem, we have Metaplex, which we use extensively for managing the metadata of our NFTs or token. So we have Metaplex for that. So which you can simply integrate in your local environment in through this anchor framework, and you can easily able to build on top of that. But if you're going to build everything from custom, it's going to be a very lending and you're going to make a lot of mistake, a lot of bug in the contract. So that's why Anchor is very powerful. You can do the testing, you can deploy in the local environment, you can fork that, you can do all of all sort of things which you do on the Ethereum blockchain using the hard act. So here I have opened Solana framework in the doc section that you will find all the information about the framework, what are the versions are available and what are the tools you have to install before you exactly follow this particular anchor framework in your environment. So the very first tool they recommend is the Rust, which is obviously because you're going to write the smart contract using the Rust programming language in the Solana environment. So that's what you have to install. And the next tools they want you to have in your system is the Solana suite. It's a very powerful tool. It will give you a bunch of commands which you can simply install and play around in that. The one thing I really don't like in the Solana Anchor framework is that they're highly encouraging you to use the yarn instead of npm so if you come back here they're telling you that if you have npm you have to simply uninstall that and you have to use yarn you can do that there is no problem in that but most of the project which i built and most of the beginner friendly project you will find in that i use the npm because it's easy to install easy to manage the package version and you can easily be able to control the entire environment of your node and the npm you can do the same thing with the yarn but i find more easy and more beginner friendly it is when it's come to learning a programming language or building any project as compared to yarn you can do with the yarn there is no problem in that but they have mentioned that if you want to use the anchor framework in your project you have to remove and you have to use this one then you can able to run this command to install the anchor framework in your system a bunch of command which you can use to simply do the configuration in your system based on the operating system you have so i'm using mac so here they have given the system given the system configuration for the linux and mac that's all you will find so there is bunch of details i would encourage you to come and read about it if you are solana in development and you really want to learn and utilize this anchor framework so generally i have a different system and that I have this anchor framework when it's come to building a project and testing i use my different system but in this i use mostly project related to the ethereum and i use like npm a lot two different system one for focusing with the yarn and this one is we have for npm so make sure to come and read about it this is really powerful you have to understand if you really want to work in the solana ecosystem but i want to highlight one thing that if you are new to blockchain development or new to programming language i would never suggest you to learn solana or rust straight away you can learn there is no problem in that but it's going to create a lot of complication because when you're going to start working on the project when you're going to find bug you won't find any tutorial as compared to we have other programming language like you learn python you learn javascript if you get stuck if you get any problem you will find multiple libraries multiple tools which you can include or multiple framework multiple community you will find where you can ask question but that's not the case with the rust so you have to do a lot of hard work in that we slowly slowly the frameworks are coming but it will take time so if you are an absolute beginner i would encourage you to learn javascript and solidity first you have to build your fundamentals because if you see all the contract we have in the evm compatible chain mostly written in salty and you will have a higher exposure because all of the projects which are dealing in the salty environment because there is a value of money ethereum value of money so the money is there so you can easily able to develop a contract and you will see a lot of fundings are coming a lot of project which deal in the ethereum protocol so you have to focus on ethereum protocol evm compatible chain and just give two to three months try to understand the 
smart contract try to understand the environment and after that you can easily take the switch so you have to be good in one programming language then you can easily able to learn any programming language very easily it's not going to create any problem because it has the same structure same function same variable the style of writing is different the variable type is different but the logic is going to be the same so you can easily able to grasp the programming language within a two week or 20 days very easily i learned javascript after that i can switch to any programming language because the root is the same the fundamental is same you can easily be able to learn spend some time and you will grasp the knowledge quickly but if you start focusing the learning rust straight away it's going to be very complicated if you're going to be very complicated if i face any error related to the hard drive i can simply find a dog i can do the research and i will find a lot of articles i like find a lot of github repository where i can go and read that but that's not the case with the anchor framework if you try to do a search you will find very few question very few problems you will find there so there is the problem so if you're going to be a absolute beginner then it's going to be a totally nightmare for you like we can manage it we can spend some time to read the documentation and try to figure it out but if you're absolute beginner is going to create a huge problem for you so that's what i would suggest to you i would highly encourage you to focus on first evm compatible chain learn about java skill learn about sorty and build at least four to five project after that you can take the switch there is no problem it will take a little extra month for you but you will be have a strong position so that's the only thing i want to tell you that this particular framework is really powerful where it can help you to generate the abi we have the abi in the in the javascript but in this we have idle file which we going to provide and make the function call so that's the only thing from my end i would encourage you to come and have a look at least try to go through this try to go through the rust book see the structure and after that decide that which one you want to take it but as per my personal experience if i have to start right now i'm not going to take this particular approach i'll better spend 2 to 3 extra months building my foundation then i will simply jump into this particular framework and the rust programming language so i have to find the basic after that i'm going to take my advanced approach so that's the only thing from my end if you have any question any doubt you can definitely let me know in the comment section i'll try to help in that and i can try to just give my point of view because whatever i'm telling you it's my point of view based on my experience based on my industry interaction based on the project which i have built based of the client which i have worked based on that i'm telling you all of the things so you should always all do your own research before taking your taking any step you should always do your research so that's the only thing from my end if you have any question in doubt let me in the comment section i'll definitely try to help in that have a wonderful day bye bye